นโมตัสสะบะกวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมบูดัสสะ Today 2018 November 6 d e p a w a l i holiday <laughs> because uh, nah, brother j i j i the president of the PAMC uh, invited me to attend the Katina ceremony and so to keep the nah, sharing the Dhamma knowledge because of that nah, I would like to keep the Dhamma knowledge to you. What is the meaning of the d e p a w a l i So, according to our Myanmar language, we call the d e w a l i but really d e p a w a l i no? d e p a w a l i d e p a means light or lamp or lantern or another meaning is also island. So our Buddha also in the Dhamma Buddha that is mentions no? uh, Upper Mata Waka that is. o t a n i na p a m a d i na s a y a m i na d a m i n a cha di p a n k i r a t a m i r a w i y a n o g o na v i k i r a t i In that verse, our Buddha preached as an island. Di p a n k i r a t a m i r a w i You should make the your island for the your refuge. How to make the your island? You must possess four qualifications. o t a n i na, o t a n a m i you must make the effort or energy, na, and o t a n i p a m a d i a p a m a d i na, with the mindfulness, s a n y a m i n a m i you must control your bodily and b a b a l actions with the morality, sila, vaju. s a t a m i n a c h a you must control and restrain. You are six six sense faculty by the so no? inside meditations. If you possess these five qualifications, you can make the your island and refuge. This island may not overwhelmed by the four floods. Yang ogo navi k i r a d i may not overwhelmed by the four floods. What are the four floods? That is the kamoka, b a w o k a d i k t o k a a w i k j o k a Kama means the flood of sensuality, and kamoka, b a w o k a no? the flood of a craving of the existence. a w i k j o k a means so the flood of ignorance, and d i k t o k a means so the flood of the wrong view or wrong beliefs. So m a y not overwhelm. Really, not the light is the you see symbol of the wisdom or knowledge as a life, no? as a light. So the light nature is abolish or expel the darkness and illuminate the objects also. Is it true or not? <laughs> Because of that, no? so as a d e p a w a l i day, so I have to preach for your knowledge. Before giving the knowledge, uh, this the title is there: how to overcome the difficulties in anapana meditation. But firstly, I would like to give the one s o t a from the i n g o t r a Nikaya. So our Buddha b r i d g e To his very intimate disciples and very generous disciples, so he gave the admonish to his disciple. This o d a also our p a u s i a r o j i also, you know, in one of the Katina ceremony, s i a r o j i preached to his disciple because of that. You are also my very intimate friends and the brother and sister, because you no, know, as a p a u s i a r o j i Disciple, so first leave t h e r except in Myanmar, no? outside the Myanmar, I had so Paul s a r o j i was allowed me to preach to share the Dhamma knowledge. Firstly in Sri Lanka, after that, second is the Singapore, <laughs> because of that from the 2005 and no? up to date, 
So every year I come and so also preach the Dhamma talk and also Siaraji and me also conducted the retreat in Shuanglin Temple and the Changi Shali also because of the no, Sengkabu is look like the no, my that's that home. <laughs> Second home is Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> that is no? that soda is in the Ingotra Nikaya chapter of the fight so our Buddha preached one day no? Anatta Pindika the rich man the, he came to the Buddha no? with the 500 followers and paid homage to the Buddha at that time our Buddha preached so to the Anatta Bindika, Tomehi Gahapati, Bhikkhu Sangasa, Bichu Bati Dare, Chiwara Binda Bada, Sinasana Gilana, Gilana Pichaya, Bisi Chapri Karina, Nako Gahapati, Tawa Taki Niwa, Tuti Garani Yare, Mayan Bhikkhu Sangasa, Bichu Bati Dare, Chiwara Binda Bada, Sinasana Gilana Pichaya, Bisi chapri kar ranti tasma diha kapti iwan sikhi tabang kenti mayang kali na kalam pawi we kap beating upasam bicha wihara wihara yami soon iwan iwan hi o kapti sikhi tabandi translation is householder kapti you have presented no? robes, arms food, lodgings, and the medicines and the provisions for the, no? the sick to the Bhikkhu Sangha. You should not be contact no? merely with the, no? so with this much thinking. So we have presented robes, arms food, lodgings, and the medicines and the provisions for the sick to the Sangha of the Bhikkhu. They are who Householder, you should train also huh? you accept thus how can we Kali na Kala no? from time to time so Upasambija no? uh, that is the uh, enter and the Vihariyami so enter and the dwells that is Pawi we beating that is the in the rapture of the solitude it is in such a way that you should train yourself. So our Buddha admonished no? and give the exhortation, exhortation, no? exhortations so to his disciples, Anatta Bendika, no? you should not merely contact, just merely offering the four requisites. So Singaporeans are very generous <laughs> and offer a lot. So Bhikkhu Sangha, so our Buddha, no? see the his Disciple, you should not merely contact, just no, offering the four requisites. Because, no, so in our Buddha Sasana, that is not, that is just giving the offering, is, that is not essence essence of the Buddha Sasana. So you must gain, so Pawi Vika Piti, rapture of the solitude. That is, during the Buddha Sasana only can gain. What is the but we wake up BD later I will explain. Because you see, so Anatta Bendika, um, before telling the Anatta Bendika, our Buddha had lived no, as a Buddhahood and he had done the propagation of Buddha Sazana for how many years? <laughs> 45 years. Among 45 years also, so how many was I spent? In the Sawati, 25 verses. <laughs> so, some places our Buddha spent one wasa, two wasa, even our Buddha, his birthplace, Kapilawatu, only one wasa only. Is it true? <laughs> so, you know, even his birthplace, so his really relatives, no, place also, only one wasa spent in most of the no, wasa. He spent, he dwelt in the Sawiti. How do you think why our Buddha spent in the Sawiti? 
most of the wasa <laughs> because no so in the sawiti andata bendika rich mans the wisaka lady the king kosangla and malika dewi they are very generous and very intimate with the, our buddha ozu you see andata bendika wisaka lady they had offered the monastery no jeta monastery bubarama monastery and also every day they goes to the monastery three times can you go <laughs> <laughs> also not hand only no without uh, donation every time also morning he bring the foods to offer the breakfast lunch time also he bring the food to offer at the evening also he bring the medicines and some requisite to offer the sangha also every day we sakha in so anatta bendika they offer the ant foods for the 2000 bakus can you offer 2000 baku <laughs> if baku stay in the singapore <laughs> so every day so 2000 bakus so, uh, anatta bendika in we sakha lady they offer the ant food so that also no Uh, they are sister in charge of the this offering the ant food or they are their daughters so anatta bendika's daughter wisaka lady's daughter so they are the in charge of the every day no so offering the ant food for the sangha that will also not poor food very delicious food only because of that also no some people some devotees if they like to offer the ant food to the sangha they take the consultant from the anatta bendika and wisaka lady how to provide delicious food <laughs> so because like that na anatta bendika and so na wisaka lady and our buddha are so intimate na and very uh, close dayaka even very close dayaka also our buddha na so he didn't just follow the their desire only according to as a teacher so buddha preach would i give the no, advice so no kahabdi you have presented ropes on fruit no lodgings and the medicine and provisions for the six to the sangha of the bhikkhu you should not be no so dokti karaniya tawata ki niwa no you should not be content nearly with this much thinking that we have presented so ropes No, and food, lodgings, and the medicines and the provisions for the sick to the sangha of the bhikkhus. They are who householder. No? You should also train yourself thus. How can no? we from time to time enter and dwell in the rapture of the solitude? It is in such a way that you should train yourself. What is the rapture of the solitude? Pawi wika piti means that is also lokiya pawi wika piti and loko tera pawi wika piti two types. What is the lokiya pawi wika piti? That is for the examples. If you practice anapana meditations, after practicing anapana meditation, develop and cultivate again and again. When you are five faculties matures, you will possess. You are attaining the pati baka nimita. It will appear in front of the nose, and then you must concentrate on that. So, no pati baka nimita, and you must try to enter to the first jhana. After attaining the first jhana, so meditate and pass reviews. Five jhana factors. What are the five jhana factors? That is, no vitaka vichara piti sukha ikagada. That is, no, application thoughts, sustained thoughts, and the rapture, and the happiness, and the one pointness, because of, no, in the first jhana, five jhana factor, the rapture is included. Therefore, this is the lokiya pavuvika piti. After that, so if meditator is skillful and clever in the first jhana, he must try to attain second jhana. Concentrate again on the body, back and meditate. And meditate must try to more calm my mind. And later, if you review, then reflect. 
the second jhana factors what are they how many so jhana factor of the second jhana three jhana factors no pt sukha ekagata rapcha so happiness and the one point needs so second jhana also includes the rapcha pt because of that second jhana also lokiya paviveka pt if you are able to attain first jhana and second jhana so you can dwell you can enter and dwells no? so in the so rapcha of the solitude later what is the lokiya lokodara paviveka pt is that is so according to no buddha teaching meditator so no firstly trying to enter firstly meditator must no, after developing the concentrations meditator must discern the, what are the materialities what are the mentalities he must break down the compactness material as a materiality there are three compactness so sandati kana samugwa kana kecha kana compactness of continuity compactness of combination or synthesis compactness of the function as a material the three compactness for the mentality they are four compactness like the materiality so you no know, material of compactness of continuity compactness of the uh, combination of synthesis and compactness of the functions compactness of the subjects they are four compactness of the mentality after the polo being the concentrations meditator but discerns what are the materiality what are the mentality systematically so to attain the the nama rupa prasiranyana knowledge of discernment of my and matters after that so meditator must discern again the causal relationship of my and matters for the picha prakanyana according to the dependent origination paticca sambhogara so as a inside meditation these two need two knowledge as a foundation of vipassana so after attaining there these two knowledge as so nama rupa prasiranyana and picca prakanyana so and uh, but our pause already is to discern again also the uh, lakana rasa bijju badatana badatana to clear the this knowledge so no after attaining that this knowledge meditator must contemplate no seeing the the three characteristics of impermanence suffering non self of material and mentality and meditator must contemplate this is anisa dukkha anatta repeatedly and also they are cause and effect also seeing the three characteristics meditator must contemplate again and again he must develop the insight knowledge after attaining the insight knowledge at end so then to attain the this lokiya paviveka pt meditator must firstly enter the first jhana after that emerge from the first jhana and so meditator no when he is entering to the first jhana at the time jhana jhana my moment are arising successively one after another each of the jhana jhana my moment as a first jhana one consciousness and that the three mental factors are arising because of no this one consciousness and that the three mental factors are arising they are also no as a mentality nature they are rising and passing away very quickly because of that so no meditator firstly trying to enter from the first jhana after entering the first jhana emerge from the first jhana and seeing that this jhana jhana my moment are rising and passing away conditions meditator must contemplate this is anisa dukkha anatta that also two way so kalapa naya and anubata naya kalapa naya me grouping of this mentality rising and passing away no? and so seeing the grouping no? rising and passing away of grouping of mentality and contemplate again and again also meditator can develop the insight knowledge another one also seeing the this mentality 
one by one also pasa contact feeling perception volitions so seeing that these mental factors one by one and they are rising and passing away after that meditator must contemplate also anisa dukkha anatta that is called the anubhadanaya vipassana after contemplating again and again and slowly and slowly gradually the meditators inside knowledge is mature and if meditator is able to attain no, the past knowledge makanyana so having the object as a object of nibbana and uh, when he at the end of there so past knowledge and the fruition minds this past knowledge and fruition mind are called the lokotara pa viveka piti because of supporting of the first jhana concentration first jhana rapcha na piti so therefore so a uh, meditator attain the past knowledge and fruition knowledge na, by contemplating the of the first jhana mentalities so this uh, happiness this attainment is called the lokotara pa viveka piti supramandrain na the rapture of solitude another one also when meditator so you no know, contemplating the the mentalities of first jhana also that inside knowledge also called the, the not attaining yet the past knowledge that vipassana knowledge is called the lokiya pa viveka piti after attaining the past knowledge and the fruition minds are called the lokotara pa viveka piti that then so some meditator they try to enter the second jhana first jhana to second jhana after that emerge from the second jhana and seeing the the mentality of second jhana mental the, the second jhana mentality is one consciousness in thirty ones mental factors so that also the grouping of one by one of this mentality mental factor of second jhana meditator contemplate Nisa Dukkha Anatta and he must develop his insight knowledge yes from samasana jnana to up to na the sankarupa khanyana then anuloma jnana na and the quarter who to then the path and fruition knowledge so it meditate so attain the path knowledge ends so ariya mega end to the phala jnana fruition minds this because of supporting cause of the second jhana concentration and so that also called the local tara pa viveka piti the first one is so contemplation of first jhana mentality and meditator attain the path and fruition knowledge second one is so no enter into the second jhana and contemplate the, the the mentality of second jhana and meditator attain the path and fruition knowledge so this Two knowledges are called the local tarapa viveka piti because of that. No? So our Buddha so preached to the his anatta pindika rich man and five hundred followers. You should try to no? enter and dwells so in there. So rapture of the solitude. So what is the Buddha meaning is no? after saying at that time. You know so. When I was Sari Buddha was sitting before the Buddha, so you know, before the Buddha and so listening to the Blessed One statement, when this was said, when I was Sari Buddha said to the Blessed One, it is astounding and amazing, Bandi. How will that was said by the Blessed One? So Sari Buddha, the Benar Bandi was very pleased. Buddha, no, the statements. Although Buddha is, is is very short sentence only, so Pandi, it is ast- astounding and amazing. How will that was said by the Blessed One? Why it is well said? Venerable Sadi Buddha continue. Pandi, when whenever a noble disciple enters and the dwell in the rapture of solitude. On that occasions, five things do not occur in him, or five things do not occur in his mind, the meditator's mind. What are the five things? So, yampisang kamupasang hitang dukkan domenasang 
Tampistan Tasame Sami Nahodi. The second thing is Yan Pistan Kuk Kamu Pasan Hitan Sukan Somanasan Tampistan Tasame Sami Nahodi. That is two benefit I will combine no? because of the saving the times. Pain and digestions connected with the sensuality do not occur in him in that occasions. And also, pleasure and the joint no? connected with the sensuality do not occur in him on that no? occasions. So, when a meditator enters and dwells in the rapture of the solitude, Lokiya or Lokodara, Monday or Super Monday stage, so no, at that stage, in that occasions, pain and digestions connected with the sensuality and pleasure and joy connected with the sensuality do not occur in his mind. So when you're looking the Facebook, <laughs> how do you feel? How do you experience? Because you're looking long time, pain and digestions will come. If you like also, no, pleasure and no, joy will arising. If you don't like, digestion will arising. <laughs> because of that, you know, when you enter into the jhana or when you practicing anapana meditations, in that occasion, may not occur, you know, connected with the sensuality, so you know, pain and digestions, pleasure and joy. Do you like to attain that one? <laughs> so that the third and four it's no Yam Pesan Kuslupa Sanhita Akuslupa Sanhita Dukan Tom Nasan no Tampesan Tasame Sami Nahodi Yam Pesan Akus Akuslupa Sanhita Sukan Somanasan no Tampesan Tasame Sami Nahodi Third and the fourth benefit it's Pain and digestions connected with the unwholesomes do not occur in him in, on that occasions. And pleasure and joy connected with the unwholesomes do not occur in him on that occasion. When meditator enter and dwells, so in the rapture of solitude, on that occasions, no? so pain and digestions connected with the unwholesomes. So, no? Pleasure and joy connected with the unwholesome do not occur. That is, in the commentary, Meshi is the mention the hunter, the hunter example. Hunter, he pray, no, he shoot the arrow to the prey. So no, the arrow miss also. So no, the arrow not shoot to the the prey. What will feel the hunter? Pain and digestion may come. No. If he wins also, what will come? Pleasure and joy will come. If you do the gambling also, what do you feel? <laughs> Going to the casino. <laughs> How do you feel? If you win also, <laughs> pleasure and joy will come. If you defeat also, lose also, pain and digestion will come. If you, so, betting to the scores are match also. How do you feel? <laughs> now it is this, no? This uh, betting, this called uh, gambling, this called the match also very popular. <laughs> because of that, no? If, that, uh, although mentioned in the uh, commentary, Hunter example, many examples, you can see the unwholesome sons, no? So how can feel there, can experience there, pain and digestions, pleasure and joy. But if you enter and the dwells, no? Rapture of the solitude, so may not occur these things. Another one also, the fifth benefit is Yang Pesan Kusalupa Sanhita, that is Kusala, no? Yang Pesan Kusalupa Sanhita, Dokan Dominasan, Tang Pesan Tasami Sami Nahodi, pain and digestions connected with that whole sons do not occur in him. Because oh, you have to celebrate Katina ceremony. How many days you can prepare? <laughs> so, are you tired? <laughs> that is because of Kusala. <laughs> Another one also, you, know, you see, Anatta Pendika, rich man. So, you know, earlier he was very rich 
and he offer every day, no? 2,000 bakus, very delicious food. That he also, as a human nature, no? he had to encounter unfortunate time. Because uh, no? Anatta Bindika, he had offer 45 no? 50, uh, crore no? to offer to that. So both uh, monastery, Zeta monastery, and also because of he lost uh, his property, he borrowed, uh, he lent the, his money to his friend also, they, do, they didn't give back, and his property also, because of water flooded, Ginga River lost uh, this uh, no, 18 crew, and because of his friend didn't give back the, the money, the 80 crew, and unfortunately died, he lost his property, because of he lost his property every day, you know? he could not offer the delicious food as earlier. So he offered only the broken rice porridge and the sour rice only. So because of, you know, he could not offer the delicious food, what he will feel, how he will feel, do you know? He also upset, because of upset, so because that is also, Connected with their whole sons, no? pain and digestions. Therefore, he went to the Buddha and he explained, Pandi, Aliya, I have no? offered the very delicious food, the sang food to the Sangha. Now I'm able to offer the only poor food only. At the time, our Buddha preached to his disciple, Wilama Sutta. That also, Katina, the only should preach. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, the Buddha said to the uh, uh, Anatta Pendika, so uh, we lama the Brahmins, our body started in the previous life. So, when he became the we lama Brahmins, at the time, because of outside dispensation, every day he offer a lot of, not plenty of that donation, but not so benefits then the, during the Buddha dispensation. Because of that, to the enjoyment of the Anatta Bendika, you are offering is no? during the Buddha dispensation. Because of that, although you are, you are not, not afford to offer the delicious food, but your donation is very excellent and surpass than the Vilama Brahmins. Like they do, our Buddha preached to his disciples. Because of that, no? sometimes also, because of whole sun also, no? So, well, rising pain and digestion, but if you enter and dwells, Pavivika Piti, rapture of the solitude, may not arise in that one also, <laughs> because of that, no? So, when a noble disciples, he enter and dwells in the rapture of the solitudes. So, five no, things may not occur in him on that occasion. What are the five pain and digestions connected with the sensuality, pleasure and the joy connected with the sensuality and pain and dejections connected with the unwholesomes. So pleasure and the joy connected with the wholesomes and the pain and dejections connected with the wholesomes. These five things may not occur in him on that occasions where the data entering and dwell in the rapture of solitude so that rupture of the solitude is so no lokiya pa viveka piti jana attainment or uh, no? the path and fruition attainment although you are not attaining yet the path and fruition or jana it does not matter when you practicing anavana meditation or buddha no sati or mitta bhavana also no? in the moment when your mind is free from the five hindrances Surely you will get that this rupture of the solitude because of that. Don't disappoint. <laughs> so now, to attain that this rupture of the solitudes, you must develop so anapana meditations. Normally, before gaining the highest bliss, no, you must you may encounter the difficulties. So because of that, I have to continue. <laughs> How to overcome the <laughs> difficulties of <laughs> anapana meditation? 
that also you know, most of the meditator they encounter the bodily pain. You know? That bodily pain also as a, our body nature. So if our body is not used to the sitting meditation long time, initially the body is pain. But later if you meditate regularly or after getting the good concentrations, that pain feeling will less and less and you may not bother that, that pain feeling also. Another one is you know, when you concentrate on the breath, that is also Mahakusala Chaita. In the Mahakusala Chaita, so, you know, the Javana mind moment, one consciousness and 33 mental factors. What are the 33 mental factors? The previous you know, talk, I had not talked. So that is the seven universal, seven universal, six occasionals, 19 beautifuls. What are the six? What are the seven? I have to explain. <laughs> seven universal is the pasa contact with the feeling. No? That is sukha with the pasa with the senior perception, chirana volitions, pasa with the senior chirana one pointness, jivita life faculties and manasikara attentions. This is the seven universal. Six occasional is Vitaka, Vichara, Adimoka, Viriya, Piti, Chanda. Vitaka means Jana Fakta also includes no? application thought, sustained thoughts, Adimoka, decision, Viriya, effort, no? Chanda, desire. Vitaka, Vichara, Adimoka, Viriya, Piti, rapture. No? And because Mahakusala Sikta also, rapture is included. Because of that, these are six occasional. And also 19 beautifuls. What are the 90 beautiful is Sada, no? Sati, Hiri Otapa, Alova Adosa, no? Tatra Mitja Tata, Kaya Pasati, Chaita Pasati, Kaya Lahuta, Chaita Lahuta, Kaya Mututa, Chaita Mututa, Kaya Kaminyata, Chaita Kaminyata, Kaya Pagunyata, Chaita Pagunyata, Kaju Jukata, Chaitu Jukata, Pinyendriya. So, no? totally, so 90 plus Panya. So 20, 20 plus 30, 13, no? 6 and 7, so 33. So mental factors are arising successively. This mental energy are prevailing throughout the whole body. You are pain feeling with despair, no? and you will get the pleasant feeling, look like the floating sensation. That look like the floating sensation also. No? In our country, so one of the teacher, Sayara Ujodika mentions in his book, Lamboma Lampiaustu, no? in that book. So that is also Sayara Ujodika. He found the one of the articles from the science report. That is, when the meditator getting the floating sensations, why meditator get the lighter floating sensations? Western country, they take out the blood from the meditator's body and they found that the blood of the meditator, you know, the morphine contact is higher than the normal people. That is called the endogenous endophane, you know, because of produced from the body, endophane. This endophane is similar to the morphine. So, you know, because of, so when the meditator getting the floating sensation times, <laughs> so take out the blood and they do the research. So why meditator can sit comfortably without pain? Because of endorphin contact is higher than the normal people, meditator getting the floating sensation and the kid can sit comfortably without no pain. Therefore, if you like to get this endorphin, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get this no concentration, don't worry for you are pain feeling. <laughs> the second Difficultly is distractions, not wandering mind. That also our mind nature, our Buddha bridge in the Tamabhadra, no? Don't make hasa lahu no, yata kama nipas, no, nipati no, no? Sudo satan, suni putan, another one also, pandanan, chaplan, chaitan, don't reckon, don't need warrior. Our Buddha bridge, no? the nature of the mind, the mind is so fast, hard to control hard to restrain, no? also very subtle and formless because of that. 
So now you are doing the meditation. This is the most hardest work of the world. <laughs> so now, now you are trying your mind because of that. So I like to suggest two ways is very useful during the Anapana meditation times. Counting method and knowing the whole breath method. How to practice this counting method and knowing the whole breath method. After that, tomato, you can ask to me. <laughs> Otherwise, they're taking the long time. You know? This two way is very useful to get the continuous con eh, concentration to control the mind, wandering. Later on, you can develop your yeah, concentration. And the third one is slow and toba, tina meta. No? That also, you, you should choose the suitable time, you should not sit too near up after meals, time and also depend on the bodily weakness, depend on the food. Sometimes also if you take the medicines, painkiller or so something to, uh, for the runny nose or some medicine also cause to that slot and doba because of that. So no, <clears throat> you should choose the suitable times. Another one also in the Mahasadi Bhana commentary mentioned there are six things in the Inkotra Nikaya, there are seven things how to overcome the slow and toba, but I have not enough time now than that. <laughs> so, you know, so later also, BMC will publish the Bami's passing of how to you know, overcome the difficulties in the Zoom also in Myanmar. One of the, my friends translate to English also you know, this topic, how to overcome the difficulties of the Anapana meditation. At the time, you should read more details. <laughs> now, I don't explain, you know, because of the times. <laughs> so, and another one is, you know, and the, the, the fourth one is the, the sound of the disturbance. Sound of the disturbance means sometimes when you meditate, group meditation, or sometimes in your home, because of outside disturbance voice, you know, so you cannot develop the concentrations. That also, you know, in our country, one of the teacher, Somnon Siaroji, so preached there, you know, gave the instruction to his disciple. When you meditate, Anapana meditation, you try to reach the unhearing place. Is it possible to reach the unhearing place? No, no. Even in the forest also, you, know, you will hear the sounds, the birds or the monkey or the something, you know, the, the insects or even in the cave also. We will hear our sound of the silence from the ear also because of that. So no place for the unhearing place. What is the meaning of unhearing place mean? According to a bit of a point of view, one mind moment, one thought process can take the one object only. Really cannot take two objects. But because of the mind is so fast, we think we know the ob object simultaneously but not simultaneously, according to Abhidhamma point of view, one after another only. Now, you are listening, my not top bit, my talks, so you hearing the sound, you hearing the uh, no? sound, you seeing the, my image, also you feel the bodily pain or hot or, <laughs> so no? really, this is hearing the process, seeing the process, no? the big, body consciousness of the, the pain or pleasure, these thought processes are one after another only arising, not simultaneously. Although because of the mind is so fast, you, know, you think you know simultaneously, but a bit of point of view, one after another only. Because of that, if your mind is successively knowing on the breath, therefore, even the sound impinging also, the ear consciousness may not arise. Sometimes may arise ear consciousness, not following the mind door thought process arising. Oh, I don't like this sound. Why they make this sound? This is called there. So mind door thought process. Because of that, so if you concentrate respectfully, mindfully, to the on the breath, slowly and slowly, you may not hear or you may not bother that sound. That is there. No? So long Siaraji mention, uh, mentions what is the unhearing place. If you don't believe or not, you can test. Sometimes you put the, you know, the clock. Initially, you may hear the sound of the seconds. Later, your concentration is well on the breath. You may not hear because of that. You know, this is the, what is the meaning of 
I'm here in place during the meditation time to reach that place. And another one is there, seeing the many images. Sometimes also when the meditator meditate, they see the many images, the past event, past event or the departed, their family members or relatives or very beautiful serenes or sometimes you see the Buddha Rupa or Arhanta or no? sometimes very ugly forms or the cops or dead bodies or but don't pay attention to those images and pay attention on the breath only later on so no these images will disappear and you will see the white screens or white light or after that slowly and slowly you will see the anapana nimitta that also no solo siaraji so preach his disciples to his meditator when you meditate anapana meditation time so even you see the real Buddha rupa coming the 500 no, arhats also <laughs> don't no, pay homage and don't open your eye also <laughs> why because no, anapana meditation time the breath and anapana nimitta only concerned with you Buddha image is not concerned with you Buddha image is the, that is there during the Buddha no city meditation time only. No? That is that you are object because of that. Anabana meditation times, when you meditate, even the, when you see the Buddha image, real Buddha image also. No? Don't pay attention, don't open eye and continue to concentrate on the breath only. You can develop your concentrations. The fifth, no? the difficulty is lost the breath. That is the, all the meditator, they encounter the, this problem. Because of that also, in the Wisdom Deep Mecca mentioned special chapter, how to find the lost the breath. No? That also, our body nature, no? if we meditate slowly and slowly, the mind is karma and karma, the breath becomes the subtle and subtle. Sometimes because of so subtle meditator, so no, uh, can't find the breath in, they stop that they are meditation or sometimes they change the other object or sometimes because of they frighten during the meditation time, you know, interview time, they come and they report to me. One day, because of the breath is so subtle, I feel suffocated and I may die. <laughs> because of that, I stop my meditation and how I, you know, I do to continue to my meditation. So our Paul Sierraji suggests to him, this is better for you if you die on that moment. <laughs> Surely you are people in the Deva realms. <laughs> so no, don't frighten, don't afraid, and don't stop your meditation. Just wait at the tip of the nostril, slowly and slowly, the breath will appear in, so you can concentrate well on the breath. That also, in the Wisodhi Mecca also mentioned, our Paul Saraji also mentioned in there, with, uh, no, knowing and seeing, and the light of the wisdom also. When the breath lost, you should not stop your meditation, you should not change other objects, and you should not thinking to ask the meditation or, so no, you should review and reflect. So there are seven persons are no more breath. What are the seven persons? A fetus in the mother wombs, the embryo, no? and also a man drawn in the water, so the death body, so a meditator entering to the <coughs> fourth jhana, a meditator entering to the, uh, no? and the Nijora Samapati, attainment of the sensations, and also unconscious body, and also a beings in the Brahma realms. These seven persons only no more breath. No? So be, I am not including because of the lack of the mind, mindfulness. He should, the meditator, put great mindfulness at the nose. He will find the, his breath also. The next, the simile is, simile of the plowed man example. The plowed man, he plowed there no? uh, in his paddy field with his thousands. And later, he also tired. The thousands are also tired and he free the, this thousand into the jungle. Later on, when he likes to start his walk, he doesn't look for the, his thousands into the jungle. 
he goes to the ponds because that pond is every day the oxen come and drink the waters because of that the proud man straightly go to the pond and when he went there he find that his oxen and he catch that this oxen and he start his work again in the same way if you are lost also no need to look for anywhere throughout the life where are you breathing <laughs> at the nose only no? because of that but you are mindfulness greatly at the nose you will find your breath and later on trying to continue to your breath you can develop your concentration these are the six difficulties no? that is bodily pain and the no, distractions and the slow and topper and also the sound of the disturbance and the seeing the many images and the loss the breath Mostly, most of the meditators, they encounter this problem. Also, at the interview time also, I have to answer these questions only. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes also some meditators, they complain uh, their body are very tight or they cannot sleep well at night or many problems also. Sometimes we need the very patient also. <laughs> <laughs> Because every day all are same only. <laughs> so because of that, no, if you are able to overcome this this difficulties and so slowly and slowly regularly developed, you are also able to enter and enjoy no, rapture of the solitude because of no, the Bawali day and may you all be able to no, to expel the your darkness up, no? So the delusions, ignorance, and also may you possess the victories of the light also, <laughs> and attainment of the supreme bliss, and may you dwell and enter in this life and in the future, Lokiya and Lokutara, rapture of the solitude, and may you attain the supreme bliss of the Nibbana. Any questions? <laughs> because sometimes also you know, individually you may encounter the difficulties. <laughs> Half an hour you can ask the questions. <laughs> Anybody has any question? Bante, I have a question. Uh, I, anapan, uh, during uh, doing the anapana, sometimes uh, when the breath is very subtle, and then uh, I tend to uh, lose interest in that, and then will start uh, thinking of other things. Uh, yeah. yes, as much as. Uh, pay attention on the breath, eh? not trying to find your breath and respectfully concentrate. <laughs> and later on, you can you are able to concentrate on the breath. And after that, when you are mind, concentrating mind, absorb or in the, you know, absorb and so enter the start of breath, you can abide very peacefully also. So because of this Mahakusala Chaita rising, so if you are able to concentrate on the subtle breath, sometimes your body is very straight and very still and very stable also. You don't want to break. You don't want to stop. You want to continue three hour, four hour also. Because of that, no? as much as be attention on the breath and respectfully, mindfully concentrate on the breath. Look like that. No? When you put the thread into the needle hole, no? the thread also very tiny. No? Needle hole also very... No? And narrow. If you put mindfully, patiently only, the breath can pass through, through into the needle hole. In the same way, you should mindfully, patiently, don't focus too much attention also. If you focus too much attention because of over effort also, you are energy exhaust and you want to stop also, lose interest also. Because of the comfortably only concentrate on the breath, you will overcome this problem and after that, so your body is very straight and very still and stable and you can get the blissful feeling. Sometimes you will feel 
floating sensation also. Sometimes whole body disappear and concentrating mind and the breath only were remaining and you can abide very peacefully. You will enter into a rupture of the solitude. <laughs> Bhante, thank you for your compassion for sharing you know, the Dharma. Um, I have been uh, learning from um, you know, many Bhantes that you know, um, being on the meditation object outside formal sitting is actually one of the key success uh, for a meditator. Um, can Bhante share you know, uh, what are the, um, you know, some skillful ways to do that? Because for lay people like us, you know, we are constantly you know our mind are constantly running you know, because of work you know and you know many things <laughs> so outside the sitting meditation you means yes uh, really if you are able to do the check the new button is better <laughs> can you see your mind <laughs> uh, no oh yeah if you'd like to do the mita bhavana or buddha no city also better as a samatha meditation instead of the breath Outside the meditation time, in your daily walk, mita bhavana or loving kindness. If it is possible, my, uh, as in my suggestion is, if it is possible, try to see your mind also, whatever you are thinking, uh, uh, satisfy, uh, satisfaction or dissatisfactions, and trying to see, and also this mind also in permanent end, Later on, you are able to control your mind also. Sometimes when you encounter like or dislike, no? not arising these pain and dejections or pleasure and no? joy also. Because of that, so if it is possible, try to aware and try to notice your mind also. What you are thinking, what your mind create and thinking. So later on, I think you may control your mind also. And sometimes, if, if you encounter something, no, uh, dislike object, so not to arise in the anger or any emotion also. That is a uh, no, suggestion. The second one is, if you are not able to practice Anabana meditation, loving kindness meditation, seeing the other people and having the loving kindness also, or reciting the Buddha quality, Arha Arha or Buddha Buddha or the about the nine quality, it is also also. Or sometimes, if you like to do the asubha bhavana also, no? that that is as a samatha meditation, one of the four protective meditation also. Thank you, Mante. Good morning, Mante. Yeah. Uh, could you explain uh, Bhavanga? Yeah. And uh, how can we avoid dropping into Bhavanga? Really, Bhavanga is the when the meditator meditate, so his mind, so no, uh, he relaxed and to relax also, he can fall to the Bhavanga mind. Sometimes also because of after meals also, it can cause to the Bhavanga mind. Sometimes also after recover from the illness also. Because of bodily weak also fall into the bowing mind. Because of that, as much as try to meditate mindfully on the meditation object is the better. Because no, why what is the bowing mind? You know, no? According to the our Buddha Abhidhamma, every so beings are near of the death, no? they see the one of the three signs action or action of the objects or future destinations after seeing the one of the three sign end so the, the beings pass away and he rebut in the mother womb the first consciousness is called the rebut consciousness after rebut consciousness as a human beings this embryo not to a life bowing is taking the functions and after that when mother deliver ends when we the, 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 the beings reach the as a human being life human life no? because uh, he encounter there so many object so among the two top process not to catch Bhavanga Mai is taking as a linkage no? also when we getting the sound sleep 
because of no more other thoughts, Bawinga mind is taking as a function also. Therefore, when meditate also, as a meditator concentrate on the breath and sometimes slowly and slowly, the lack of the mindfulness and so the meditator fall into the Bawinga. He don't notice anything. He don't no? hear any sounds. He lost all the sense. Really, he is falling to the sleeping only because of the lack of the mindfulness. So as possible as trying to mindfully concentrate on the breath and should choose a suitable time also. That way only you are, uh, so you will overcome the, this falling to the bowing of mind. Thank you, Bhante. Mm. Good morning, Bhante. Yeah. Uh, I would like to seek your clarification, uh, clarification about what you say about seeing the mind in daily life. Mm. When you say seeing the mind, does it mean Mm, you are aware of an observer when the mind is uh, other than the content you are also simultaneously aware of the observer sure. that means you are not you are not stuck inside lost but you are always uh, out and observing the thing sure do the as an observer no? do the previous mind you should see the subsequent mind whatever you thought like or dislike or anger or lustful mind or distraction or whatever thought arising with the subsequent mind trying to observe. So that so firstly as possible are trying to get the habitual action whenever thoughts earlier that so because of we don't notice after thinking only we are able to aware. Later on, slowly and slowly trying to aware, you will realize these thoughts are rising and passing we only. So with the subsequent mind. No? So, so the, my understanding is yeah. actually what you meant by seeing the mind. Seeing the mind means observing or awareing or knowing the previous mind. Because the mind is the formless, no? because of the, we cannot see as an object, knowing only. Seeing is the metaphor only. So. Mm. Because of that, no? to the previous mind, if you are, anger, if you are angry, no? trying to know the angry, you are, you are Thinking of the angry mind with the subsequent mind. Oh, now I'm angry. No? The one of the create the object and oh, I don't like. I don't like. No? Why he tell like that way? I'm not satisfied. Like that, if you are thinking again, and again with the subsequent mind, trying to know those thinking previous mind. No? Later on, this mind are rising and passing only. You will realize. Oh, this are rising and passing away. So after that, because of Instead of repeatedly thinking again and again, if you observe, if you are aware, that anger may, may not last long or may not continue. Oh, the anger, uh, mm. the, the, the whatever is uh, going mm. on, uh, you realize that the observing mind doesn't have this property. It's just, uh, it doesn't affect the priority of the observer. You mean? I mean uh, the observing mind. Observing that, mind? That, there's, there's two things going on. Yeah. Whatever affliction or... Yeah and wholesome thing and there's an observer looking at it yeah but uh, you also realize that whatever is going on how no matter how is it it doesn't affect the purity of the observer yeah after observing again and again so this anger is no, lesser and lesser and after the shoulder and shoulder and instead of repeated thinking this when the anger ceases, you know because of ceased. anger ceases, no, the observer will get the happiness calmness Peaceful mind, the next be, the benefit is. Observe, really observe mind also rising and passing only. So, no? after observing again and again, so because of this anger is shorter and shorter and seeps and subsides, later on, this observing mind will notice calmness or peaceful conditions. Okay, thank you, Bhante. Yeah. Then, uh, when you talk about the Slipping into the Vavanga, um, sometimes is you get more and more comfortable. Then suddenly you realize you you sort of uh, one there's one gap of time where there is uh, has passed away, but you you don't recall uh, hearing anything. That's that's actually falling into Vavanga. You mean the Bowenga mai? Uh, Bowenga mai is you don't notice anything. You lost all the sense only. But After when, awake only, awakened only. Oh, now I am meditating. So you hear the sound again. 
<laughs> if still you are aware, that's not blowing our mind. Okay. Thank you. First of all, thank you, Bhante, for sharing us the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, my question here is, uh, during Buddha's time of death, he has gone through a few jhana stage. Uh, what, what could you recommend uh, for us when we experience this time when it comes? <laughs> during the Buddha time? Yeah, he has gone through a few jhanas yeah. before he passed away. Yeah. So as we learn uh, jhana 1, jhana 2, jhana 3, jhana 4, jhana 5, yeah. During our, my time when it comes, what would be the best time I should do? So, in daily life or in your lifetime, the uh, time means... I would say at the time when, uh, when death comes. Near death, near death, near death moment. Yeah. Oh, so, near death mo if you meditate regularly, and if you meditate systematically also, no? slowly and slowly, if you learn the, under the, the good guidance teacher also, if you are able to attain the jhana in this life also better, and if you are able to maintain no, this jhana also, no, up to near of the death, the last breath, this last the breath, because of this jhana mind, it will give to rebut in the Brahma realm also. Although, uh, my topic also including, although in this life, if you are not able to attain the part and fruition mind also, if you have lumped, no, the inside meditation in the Brahma realms, when you develop again the, this inside meditation, surely you will attain the in the Brahma realm also. You will become the Arhata part and fruition. You will never come back to the human world and Deva realm of the sensuous planes. Although in this life, if you are not able to attain the jhana, but if you meditate regularly Anapana meditations, so, because of you meditate regularly, no? this is the habitual action. So that's uh, no, asana kan, habitual action. Because of that, surely because of you have done regularly every day, when you are reach the emergency case, as the last breath, you will meditate anavana meditation. This concentrating on the anavana breath, uh, uh, on the breath anavana meditation. This is the Mahagusala Chaita and the last prayer. Although you not attain yet the jhana, but this Mahagusala Chaita will support no, to rebut in the human realm of Deva realms. And this parami, this Vajjasi and Sarna seeds, the seeds of the no, virtue and the seeds of the conduct will support in next life to attainment of the jhana or to attainment of the path and fruition mind also. Because of the, the parami is not loose. No? Mm -hmm. It was support with the next life also. <laughs> uh, does this apply to someone who, you know, has dementia at the near death moment? Dementia. Yeah. yeah. Near death moment. Yeah. And it means, uh, you know, the dying person has dementia, meaning that, you know, he or she forgets, you know, the people around Unconscious him. Unconscious mind. He, he, he lost the mindfulness. He don't know anything, you mean? Yes. Near of that, that he, don't, he lost the, all the memory. Correct. Yeah. That, because that. Bante just uh, shared that, you know, mm -hmm. um, even if some uh, meditator has not attained jhana, yeah. but as long as he actually meditates regularly, yeah. at the near death moment, yeah. you know, uh, it, the um, meditation object... Because of object, some the illness, yeah. he lost them, his memory. Yes. So, but if he meditates regularly, I think, so because of habitual actions, so although he, he, he is unconscious the, the, the previously, but later, Near of the death, according to the Buddha Abhidhamma, no? so one of the thoughts may appear because of to rebut in the day existence. So therefore, near the death moment, that the, because of he had meditated previously as the habitual actions, it will reappear. That is my idea. No? 
because of he have done that regularly he have meditate because if you meditate if you do regularly whatever action this action is near of the death most probably will appear because of that no? so although the near before the death he was the unconscious but near the death because of he have meditated regularly this thought may appear Thank because of that, no, doing the regularly is better. No? It get the emergency case <laughs> as the <laughs> age. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, they just another question. Uh, when the uga nimeter uh, and the uh, breath nimeter comes into one, yeah. Can a meditator switch to Ugaha to uh, improve his uh, concentration? Uh, that also, no? the bread and the light do together. No? Yeah. The bread become the light, the light become the bread. Sometimes also, after concentrating on the, the, the bread, no? the light will be more and more brighter also. After more and more brighter, also, it lasts long, near up the one hour, more than an hour, hour. Even the light disappear all, and dim also when meditator concentrate on the breath, it rebrighter again. If, if meditator able to attain that condition, he can switch onto the Bhadivakanameda. But sometimes the light and the breath do together, when he concentrate on the light, it does not last long should not be attention to the light. Try to maintain to there, no? to concentrate on the breath only. Otherwise, the, the light is not last long, it may disappear. Because of that, you should see you are conditioned. After concentrating, when the breath and the light unified, when you concentrate on the light, it does not disappear, it more and more brighter, continue to concentrate on the nimitta only. So, Another question, yeah. um, because if we concentrate on our breath, mm. say it's for one, two hours, yeah. on a single object of a breath, I think our mind also will get tired. So what can we do in order to refresh our mind and then come back to the breath? Because that also, our uh, mental power, the concentration power also, no? That is look like the students. We have the efficiency of power or energy. So, you know, as the students in the class, when the teacher gave the lecture, they are listening. Power is how many of minutes? <laughs> Forty-five minutes only. Now also, I think you are exhausted. You are energy. <laughs> listening power. <laughs> as the meditator also concentrate on the breath or on the nimitta. Slowly and slowly, look like the wave craft, no? rising up maximum level. After that, exhaustion point, no? at that time, lose the interest. Sometimes also, after con continue to concentrate on the breath or on the nimitta, it will rising up again. Sometimes also, to exhaust, if you can't meditate, trying to stop your meditation and trying to refresh no? yourself, doing other activities or chanting the breather or Listening the Buddha discourse or doing the walking meditation or like that way, trying to refresh your mind. Then only you should concentrate, it's better. Sometimes, if your energy is exhausted, so should stop the meditation, is better. Because your energy is already exhausted. If you more meditate, you are more exhausted only. Sharing the merits.